Oh, somebody's got in here. And they've been snacking away. I can't find them. <gasps> Found you. Found you. You're awfully little to have done all that damage. I need to go look for more. One way to find them is look for the freshly cut edges. Where they haven't started to turn brown already. Did we move over to here? Yes. Oh, we have a pair. Somebody got in my greenhouse hothouse oven. And laid their little eggs. Okay, I'm ready for you now, you little cabbage worms. I know there's still some out here. I found you. You're definitely chicken feed. Do you see what I see? I can't see it on the camera. Oh, the epis are starting to bloom. The pink ones got buds everywhere. I need to get out here and cut off some of this damaged stuff. Oh, look, somebody's getting ready to fledge. I think we need a little more tail than that. I did spook it earlier, so I think I spooked it out of the nest. But it's staying here, so that's okay. It's real tiny. It's real tiny, tiny, tiny. Extend at this end of the permaculture bed with the garlic and the kalabi and the mixed lettuce. It looks like it survived. Put in more kalabi. I don't like kalabi, can you tell? And add a couple of sprouted onions. I figured I'll just plant them. See if they divide out or whatever. And then I have my protector frog. Let's go protect my garden. And I need to just mulch it. Water it well and then mulch it. Oh, planted, watered, drought. And remulched. So let's see how these kawabi do. It appears that it's too hot here for comfrey. It has been wilting every day and you can see where some of the leaves have burnt. It's my little makeshift shade. It's a dollar store clothes hamper. And I cut the one side out so I can lay it over long beds. But it looks like this little baby needs it. Because I usually use it like that over several plants. But this at least gives it enough shade. Keep it from burning up anymore. I cannot have any bare land. So, I'm going to put in some of Little Bean's Zuli's Red Leaf Lettuce. You shouldn't plant the same thing in the same place two years in a row, or two growings in a row. Because if you plant the same thing in the same place, whatever vitamins, nutrition, different elements that the plant has taken out, it's gone for the next growing of the same thing. So I'm putting in lettuce, even though it is the wrong time. This is when you should be planting fruit bearing crops like tomatoes. Boy, I've got a feeling I'm going to get a lot of growth this year from the, what you call it? What do you call it? Dragon fruit. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of growth this year from dragon fruit. I just barely get it cut back so it's manageable and it takes off again. Well, my little fig tree is trying to grow and I obviously need to start weighting down the branches so they don't grow up. So, Tater chip can. And I 
I will weight it down with a little bit of water. And I'll do that to all the little branches that need to be pulled down so they don't grow straight up on me. Oh, I'm going to see what kind of trouble I can get into now. I haven't hit any trash cans in a long, long time. Oh, let's see, we'll go over this way. Yeah, I think we got some fresh trash out over this way. If nothing else, I can eat up all the strawberries in their front yard. <laughs> 